Now it's a massive showdown between farmers and the centre in ongoing farmers' Delhi Chalo march. In fact, chaos there followed at Delhi borders with cops firing tear gas shells at the Shambhu border amid massive escalation. Union Agriculture Minister has also appealed for peace. These are fresh visuals that are coming in from the Shambhu border area. We know that this is the fifth round of talks that the farmers and the centre are having. And yet farmers there are already gearing up for the Dili Chalo march. Let's take a listen a little on what we hear on ground. <laughs> All right, that's uh, Shambhu border. Manjit Segal, our correspondent, is right there. Shambhu border, Ambala. Manjit, give us more. How far is Shambhu border from the national capital, Delhi? I know the, the police this time have decided to block off the protesters kilometers away. In fact, uh, it, it, at least an hour from Delhi is what I hear. But give us some clarity on how, what's the distance between Shambhu border and the national capital. Well, uh, Navila, uh, Shambhu border is at least a uh, three-hour journey from this point where we are standing at uh, present. And uh, the flashpoint is located at a distance of uh, nearly 500 to 700 meters uh, from this tall plaza, which has been blocked by the Haryana police as a precautionary measure. Uh, not only the national highway, but many link roads uh, joining this national highway besides uh, the village roads have also been uh, blocked as a precautionary measure. Many link roads which are open are also facing traffic snarls. And we are also hearing that tear gas shells are still being fired by the police to stop the uh, protesters from uh, moving or marching ahead. Uh, the police, uh, meanwhile, uh, had also expressed the apprehension that the protesters uh, uh, can make the shield of the men, women and the senior citizens uh, who are present uh, in large numbers on both uh, borders. Uh, according to an estimate, uh, nearly 19,000 people are present on both the borders. Most of them are at the Shambhu border. Uh, they reached Shambhu border in at least 1,700 tractor trolleys, uh, 10 buses and 300 cars which have been parked. Uh, they have also brought with them some heavy machinery like poke lanes, JCB machines and bulldozers. The, the uh, Punjab government on requesting uh, uh, the, the, uh, the owners of uh, the, these heavy machinery uh, had asked not to lend a helping hand to the protesters, not to, uh, not to uh, rent out their machines to the protesters, which might uh, misuse uh, these machines uh, to target the police, to target the public property besides the common citizens. So this is what the Haryana police had also uh, expressed. The MHA had also directed both the states to take precautionary measures as the protesters are present in large numbers. It was also, uh, it was also informed by the Haryana police to their Punjab counterparts that uh, machinery uh, which has been modified, uh, for instance, the JCB machines or the poke lanes uh, which have been made bulletproof and even their tires have also been shielded with heavy metal seats uh, to stop the police and to break the barricading. Uh, though uh, the uh, Punjab police had assured the Haryana police that they will stop the movement of these machinery. But the question remains, what will happen to the machines which have been uh, brought at the Shambhu border? The police law claims no movement of such machinery is now being allowed, but these machines are still present at the Shambhu border, which the protesters, according to the police, can use to remove the barricading.